little girl's life cut short at the hands of her father. Tonight, shock turns to mourning as dozens gather to remember a Hendersonville sixth grader. Tamia Bass was killed right after she got home from her very first day of school. Her father says he accidentally pulled the trigger. News Channel 5's Julia Bruck is live where that vigil was held tonight. And Julia, this is just a heartbreaking situation. Absolutely awful, Carrie. And tonight there's a makeshift memorial to remember her. It's full of balloons, flowers, and teddy bears. All a painful reminder that Tamia Batts is no longer with this Hendersonville community. The pains of a mother who suffered an unimaginable loss. She just really hurt. She hurt for words. Her daughter, 11 year old Tamia Bates, was shot after returning home from her first day back to school. She was basically the light. She never gave you a dull moment, ever. Police say this smiling sixth grader was accidentally killed at the hands of her father. A painful reality some of her family members learned about on social media. So I went back and I looked at the post one more time and I was like, that's my cousin. And it, that's when it clicked and I just, the bottom fell out. Tonight, a choir of voices and candles glow to remember a middle school student known for her love of pink and endless energy. She liked dancing, she liked sports, she liked having fun. She was always an active little girl. She used to get out there every time we had to get together, she would get out there and enjoy herself and have fun. She was a wonderful little girl. It's in times like these that we need you the most. Yes. A community heartbroken by the tragic loss of a sixth grader, yeah, extending its loving hand to a family, now without Tamia and her father. Amen. Amen. And tonight's vigil was organized by neighbors in this area. Tonight, a number of her friends showed up, those who rode the bus with her and her cheerleading teammates. They wore pink bows and had hearts on their uniforms. And many tell me she was supposed to cheer with them tonight. Instead, they were here to remember her legacy. In Hendersonville, Julia Bruck, News Channel 5.